Hello everyone, this is Harshita Suresh and this is my 8th module on active and passive voice. About myself, before we begin, I am currently studying BSc Electronic Media and I aspire to become a journalist and designer. I am an ardent grammar Nazi. I love sketching, painting, artwork, craft. I love music and I also love binge watching television shows. So here is what we will be covering today. We will look at the instance where uh, active voice sentences don't have an object. So here is a quick recap of what we did in the previous module. There are some types of sentences that cannot be converted into passive voice. So here is the first point, non-convertible tenses. The sentences of following tenses cannot be converted into passive voice. The following four tenses are present perfect continuous tense, past perfect continuous tense, future perfect continuous tense and future continuous tense. And we looked at examples for each of these types of sentences in the previous module. So let's go to the next point now. Sentences with intransitive verbs cannot be converted into passive voice. Intransitive verbs. New word, right? There are two types of words. Verbs, I mean. There are two types of verbs, transitive and intransitive. So, I was very verbal about my explanation in the previous module about transitive and intransitive verbs. I didn't use any visual aids. So, I will be explaining uh, these two types of verbs in detail with visual aids. So, transitive verb needs an object in the sentence. Intransitive verb doesn't need an object in the sentence. Let's look into it in detail now. Transitive verbs. Definition first. A verb that requires an object in the sentence to give a complete meaning is known as transitive verb. So, verb requires an object in the sentence to give a complete meaning and such verbs are known as transitive verbs. Now, let's take a quick look at an example. He bought. He bought. It doesn't, it's not a full sentence, right? He bought what? He bought something. He bought a gift. He bought a book. He bought something at all. Yeah, he just bought something. So, buy is the present tense of the word bought, which is in past tense. So, buy is a transitive verb because without the subject here in the gift, it didn't give a complete idea. So, all such verbs that must have an object for them in the sentence is known as transitive verbs because without the object in the sentence, it will not give out a complete idea. It will be incomplete, the sentence as such. Intransitive verbs. Again, we go about with the definition. A verb which doesn't require an object in the sentence to give a complete meaning is known as intransitive verbs. It is just the opposite of transitive verbs. So, a verb which does not require an object in the sentence for it to give a complete meaning is known as intransitive verbs. So, for example, he laughs, he sings, she sang, she sat. All these verbs uh, in then you know put in sentences don't need an object to complete the whole sentence. So here laugh is an intransitive verb. It does not require an object in the sentence. Even without an object it can express a complete idea. Go, sleep, sit, reach are all some few examples of intransitive verbs. Like Sita goes, Ram sleeps, she sat, he reached. They're all examples of intransitive verbs. So intransitive verbs can be followed by a prepositional phrase or an adverb. Can be followed by a prepositional phrase or an adverb to add to the thought being expressed. But they can never be followed by a noun which would act as the object of the sentence. Let me repeat, intransitive verbs can be followed by a prepositional phrase or an adverb to add to the thought being expressed, but they never are followed by a noun which would act as the object of the sentence. So let's give out a little more examples of intransitive verbs. She sat on the table. She grew up to become a teacher. Sorry, she grew up to be a teacher. So on the table, does it make table the object? No, it is just a preposition on and she grew up to be a teacher. So, 
they are not objects so they are still in transitive sentences in transitive verbs in sentences so she sat on a table how will you try converting this to passive it is almost impossible no it is impossible okay so the sentences having in transitive verbs cannot be converted into passive voice the only reason for this is that such a sentence has no object when a sentence has no object it obviously can't be changed into passive voice snoopy is sleeping dan laughed they're all you know proper sentences on its own which does not require an object they're all in active voice but they cannot be converted into passive because they lack an object where is the object sleep snoopy is sleeping on what dan laughed at what no nothing so now that we know the difference between intransitive and transitive verbs here is a small exercise the answers to which will be discussed in the next module identify if the following sentences have transitive or intransitive verbs in them please do freeze the screen and answer these questions these sentences i will read out the sentences sentence number 1 he slept the whole day he slept the whole day sentence number 2 the guide showed us the way the guide showed us the way sentence number 3 ram met j i repeat ram met j yesterday ram met j yesterday sentence number 4 you must go now you must go now sentence 5 the snake bit the hunter sentence number 6 sham was chased by a dog sham was chased by a dog sentence 7 she sang us an old song she sang us an old song so now once you are okay you are thorough with active and passive voices you can work your way backwards to figuring out which sentences have transitive or intransitive verbs just look at the above sentences and try converting them into passive and if you are not able to do it you can blindly say that they are transit i mean they are intransitive verbs so if you can't convert it into passive voice then you can consider the sentence to have an intransitive verb in it please do rate recommend review and share this is harshita suresh signing off thanks a lot